So this is just going to be very short. I was working on a uh, catapult for my students. And I mean, most of this was a, a pre-done model, but what I did is I modified a little bit to fit a screw. Cause I wanted to use a screw here. Just changed like a little bit where it was. And then uh, I printed this a little smaller because I wanted to plastic solder it on. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but you might be able to see the light blue. I have to clean it up a little bit, but other than that, it's working well. So now I'm working on this side. I'm just going to show you guys how I'm doing it. So I'm taking my soldering iron and I just have some extra filament from the filament that I undid way down there. It's a kilogram. So all I do is I'm, I just put my solder iron on top of the filament. I think it's at 460 right now. Oh, I turned off my soldering iron. Never mind. That's why it wasn't working. Yep, it's at 460, or it should be in a few seconds. I'm, I'm gonna put it a little higher than 460. Maybe not 510, but maybe at like 500 ish. It was nothing to film it a little slow for my personal liking and what I'm trying to use it as. I could always end up using the 3D printer. I just have it extrude film and go around it, but I find this to be more accurate. Could have chosen a fire tip or even something like this. Or something like this. This bends really easily, so I just chose something like this because it was like a good medium. So how I do it is I just, I'm using the arm that the solder iron has. Holding the filament where I want it to melt. Just slowly melting it in. I'm just trying to go around. Smoothly. You know, I'm done. I did it on one side and it's staying really well, but I want it to stay really strong, especially because this is going to get used a lot. That's why I used the screw here instead of just the filament like the pre designed model was using. Whenever it's getting in here, it gets a little tricky. So normally I was doing this at the end, which I should probably just continue doing. Because, yep, so this is going to go there. And every bit of plastic that we add, especially with the solder iron, just adds that much more support. Especially because it ends up, because the actual disc ends up welding to the bigger disc or the cylinder and the uh, welding to the disc just trying to make sure you guys can sort of see what I'm trying to see so get down there I don't think it definitely was not hot enough I'm gonna turn that up a little bit I don't know what it's at but there and then at the end I always smooth it out mm. and like that getting there and then now it's done so now that I have most of it soldered on I'm just going to go around and try to clean up a little bit. Right. I'm just trying to clean up as much as possible. I just do light rounds in a smooth circle. Not trying to add too much, but trying to make one fluid circle. So 
to put hot glue, so probably melting the hot glue is probably not the best idea. Or not hot glue, model glue. But after this, maybe like here. Yep, there you go. So we have the plastic all the way around on that side, plastic all the way around on this side. So now I pretty much have my entire catapult ready. Except for the uh, rubber band that has to go through here because I don't have rubber bands right now. But I can change where this beam is and then get either less of a catapult or more. Or if I'm going like down here, it's going to shoot really fast. I mean, I don't know if the rubber band's going to be able to go all the way around. But if it can, it's going to get a lot of catapult and spring because of tension. But if I pull it back like right here, it's not going to go that far. It's here versus this being all the way back here and this would be the max it can go because this is the highest it can go so this is like the max amount of catapult i'm going to get and it's going to fling it really fast hopefully so that was it this is my uh catapult for my physics project